Heading into Cedar Point. <laughs> so we heard that pieces of Top Thrill Dragster are missing. So we're on our way to go check it out and we will be right back with that footage for you. So we have on the Boo Streak. We went over, found some footage of Top Thrill Dragster that's gonna be dropping before this video actually. So disregard that completely. But we are now on our way out of here. And we will see you guys back in a little bit because we're going to surprise you at another park. <laughs> we have made it to Kings Island. We are walking down the midway. We are double fast laned up from Cedar Point and Kings Island today. Having a good time. Looking at the spooky decorations here. Ooh, we got scare actors. <laughs> oh, see that was awesome. Oh, just this one. <laughs> He just scared somebody walking in. <laughs> the stairs are started. The stairs are starting. <laughs> Pig's Island's haunt is wonderful. It is Absolutely. the best haunt, no doubt. Walking into Cavern of Terror, there is a good amount of little theming in here. I know it's low lights, but it gets a lot better as you come through. It is really neat. Yeah, definitely. I know you can't really see us in here, but it is pretty cool looking in here. So, initial thoughts on Miss Fatale's Cavern of Terror. I loved it. I thought it was just great. Just a walk through, it is really good. If you get right through it, the actors were really good. Yeah, I thought it was pretty cool too. Yeah, they got me a couple times. Definitely midday too, good form. I loved right? it. We're over here in the chaos area and check this out. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> There's even more. What do you see? Bubbles! Oh, jeez. She sees the bubbles. They're funny colored bubbles, like they got fog in them. Yeah, they're pretty cool looking. Oh, yeah. But yeah, we're uh, heading over here by the arcade and we got all of these cool lights going on over here with the music. We're about to hit the racer and go to Hotel St. Michelle, so we'll be back after that. So she was having fun popping bubbles back there. Uh-huh. Here we got all this over here by the monster. Over here by the racer, we're waiting for Jack in the Box to pop. Oh, you oh, got it, everybody. That was awesome. That was cool. We are walking out of Hotel St. Michelle back here. How'd you like it? I thought it was awesome. I thought it was great, too. It's my favorite one that we've gone through here at Kings Island so far. Yeah. Now it's getting dark out as you can see, so we're gonna head through some of the scare zones and check out the pumpkin zone because that's our favorite. Yes, it is. We're walking through 
over here by Delirium. About to enter the, the Peter Pumpkin Eater zone. Yeah. Uh, are you excited for this? This was our most anticipated haunt zone, so we are very much looking forward to this. And here we go. We got two split offs here. And then we got all down there. So I think we're gonna go ahead and go right. Or do you wanna go left? I say we go left. All right, we'll go left and loop around. Yeah. So this looks wonderful through here. I love what they did. Check out the pond and the creek area over here. Over by the Viking ship. Yeah, and then the racer off in the background. You see Orion. Nice. We got the Viking ship. The trees look wonderful over here. Yeah, we are loving this right now. This is fantastic. How you feeling, Mom? Get in camera. Jeez. She's horrible at getting in the camera. I'm sorry, everybody. Here at the Fest House, they got the pumpkins having a meal up top there. Oh, I thought it was pumpkins. It looked like pumpkins. It may or may not be, but yeah, these areas are looking fantastic. It is a wonderful night here. Hoodie weather. We are walking around having a great time. She almost just fell on her face, which is a good <laughs> laugh for everybody. But yeah, we're gonna take you back to the scare zones now. We got International Street. We got a witch coming up. Oh, let's see if she gets anybody. International Street is looking phenomenal. The pond looks great. Let's see if we can get the witch in there. Oh, she left. But yeah, it's it's looking great down here. This is crazy. Oh yeah, you guys want in? What's up? How you doing? Ghost or coasters? So how's your night been going? Yeah, pretty good. Are you having a good night? What's your favorite thing you've done so far? Uh, I don't know. Come back there and get scared really easily. Oh, no kidding. So you guys going through the haunt zones? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Well, you have a good rest of your night, man. Me too. Take it easy. Right. Too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ghost or coasters. <laughs> Look at this. This looks phenomenal. We're over here across from the Kings Island Theater. Oh, look at the spooky eyeball checking us out, Mom. Oh, you missed it. There was a spooky eyeball up in the... Window? Yep. This is looking phenomenal as usual. We're heading over towards the action zone over there by the drop tower. Ooh, everything's getting spooky over here. We're heading back towards Delirium. They've done such a phenomenal job just lighting these areas up, honestly. Because a lot of parks, they forget to do little things like that. Like... Off in the distance, Kings Island is knocking it out per usual, having a great night, ready to take you through some more of the scare zones here. Oh yeah, here we go. And we are heading through the Pumpkin Eater. Here we go. That. This was one of our most anticipated zones, so I cannot wait to get through here. Loving the pumpkins up here. She's getting some shots back there. We got Delirium. I wish it was an action. We got Banshee in the background here. <laughs> oh, we're walking around the corners here. Look at all these pumpkins hanging. It looks fantastic back here. This is so cool. Yeah, this is phenomenal. This is one of the best zones we've ever Woohoo! She got her. <laughs> oh, my mom jump scares easy, but uh. I think I like this more over by Backlot Stone Coaster, I'm not gonna lie. But it's still one of my favorite walk shows we've been through so far. I think the little Mystic Timber walkway is gonna be cooler though. Alrighty, how'd you feel about Corner? It was nice. I it mean, was a cool walkthrough. Yeah, it was a pretty cool walkthrough. Yeah. I, I like the scarecrow effect instead of, you know, what they've done in the past. It yeah. definitely fits it. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. We liked it. It was uh, not our favorite one here tonight, but it was a good one. So yeah. definitely go check it out if you're in the area. And look at this view. Back here by the Son of Beast right now. Oh, where is it at? Ah, can't see it. We can't see the Son of Beast. But I know it's over there. I'm just kidding. It was over there. We're about to hit the bat, though. With our buddies. Beast Club Studios back there. We're having a good night. Hitting some rides. We're on the bat platform here. <laughs> that just goes straight down. <laughs> here we are walking through the Coney Mall at night. And it looks fantastic out here. How are you feeling about it? I'm loving it. We got 
the guy on stilts in front of us. Yeah, they do a wonderful job, and they make it immersive. Like, look at all the trees. Yeah, right. Like, they got a DJ just spinning right through the middle of Coney Mall. It's pretty neat. We are walking through the Coney Mall at night, and it looks fantastic out here. Yeah, it really does. How are you feeling about it? I'm loving it. We got the guy on stilts in front of us. Yeah, they do a wonderful job, and they make it immersive. Like, look at all the trees. Yeah, right. Like, they got a DJ just spinning right through the middle of Coney Mall. It's pretty neat. Wow. Oh, look. <laughs> She's in the middle. <laughs> this park is phenomenal at night. Bad human. <laughs> so they have a lot of these glowy things. Up and How are you people. looking in the air? This is looking really cool. No, seriously. It looks so good back here. And look at Orion. I mean, come on. That is beautiful. I like the whole paranormal thing they got going over here. And this is where chaos is. Flight of fear! Flight of fear! Look how great Orion looks right now. These areas are so phenomenal. I mean, look behind me. This is great. So, we did some Orion night rides, Banshee night rides, front row with Beach Cliff Studios. Now, we're heading back over to the Beast. They're gonna go do some bumper cars, I think. So yeah, we're gonna get our night rides in on the beast. Yep. Uh, Diamondback, Mystic Timbers. We've done the racer tonight, and we actually did Banshee for the first time in a year now. So yeah, how did you like I it? Know. Did you like it? You know what? It actually wasn't so bad. It I wasn't mean. bad at all. It was good. Definitely a good little ride. Uh, we we aren't fans of inverts either, but that one is rewritable, I think. Yeah, Could have done it. Oh yeah, and we yeah. also did Delirium too, which yes. was right before it. Yeah, which was fantastic here, lit up at night because, yeah. as you can see, it is phenomenally lit up around here. Yeah, the views from Delirium. Were awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. Oh, wow. and now we are walking through. <laughs> it looks phenomenal in here. I know you can't see the lanterns above, but they're lit up. Oh, yeah, you can. They're semi-lit up in green here. Yeah, this is crazy. It looks like it's a Mystic Timbers tree, I believe. Yeah, this is so cool. Yeah, this is crazy back here. It looks so good. You got Diamondback Crest in the Hill. All these lanterns up here. How do you feel about this area? I love it. I wish they still had the pumpkins mixed with all these lights because it would look great back here, but I understand scattering a little more. But if this was still the pumpkin area, it would be, you know, like 50 out of 10. <laughs> yeah. We're going to catch ourselves a night ride on Mystic Timbers. We've gone through all the haunts for the most part, so now we're going to get some night rides in. Mystic Timbers, diving back in the beach. Stay tuned. Walk on night ride on Mystic Timbers. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. We're about to find out what's in the shit. So, Mystic Timbers night rides and a skunk at the exit, so we had to run through the grass. <laughs> that was an adventure. Mystic Timbers is a, an awesome night Yeah, ride. it's a definite night ride. If you're thinking about skipping out on it to go do other rides, I mean, the Beast is the only one I would say do over. She probably prefers Mystic, but... I do. Go to ride the Beast. 
But if you don't ride the beast, ride Mystic. And if you don't do that, ride Orion because those are the three best night rides They're in this park. They're all good night rides. Yeah, here. it's a great night ride park yeah. in general, honestly. But yeah. those are the three best, in my opinion. What do you think? Yeah, I would go with. Same. We've had a great time. We're heading back to the beast now. Yeah. We'll be right back. She's loving her hoodie, but I'm yeah, loving the I'm fact that. It. If you know where we're at, leave a comment below. If you don't, well then you're missing out because that's on you. This is the best night rides ever. Now, Voyage may be better, but we'll leave that for debate down in the comments as well. You can let me know what you guys think. This is fantastic. Look, they got the slaughterhouse lines. And we're about to hit the beast, the longest wooden roller coaster in the whole world, people. This is exciting every single time. And it looks like we're about to have a walk on, everybody. Stay tuned for more. We're gonna try to stay off the wheels. So, like I was saying, Beast Night Rides, nothing like it, complete pitch black. You just gotta enjoy it. How'd you feel about it? The tunnels were awesome. And the helixes. At the end there, they're so smooth after the retract that it's like... The retract definitely helps. Yeah, you, you gotta almost do it now because it's so smooth. Um, ooh, look at the wind seeker going up between us. Yeah, Beast Night Rides, must do. We're actually heading over towards Diamondback now. And I think that might wrap up our night tonight because we're getting a little bit hungry. We haven't ate at the park today, so we'll be back here in a little bit. Bono, 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 Bono. Diamond back. We're getting uh, row 13 back here. How you Lucky feeling? 13. Yeah, I know. I'm excited. Had a good day. Good day altogether. Yeah, it's been phenomenal at the park, honestly. Walk on everything. Yeah, from fast lanes, walk on all night. Um, we waited like 20 to 40 minutes for some of the haunts, which wasn't too bad. Oh, no. My favorite one's still Hotel St. Michelle. What's yours, Hotel St. Michelle? Yeah. yeah. That one's definitely phenomenal. So go check it out. Diamondback coming on into the station. Yeah, we'll be back. Diamondback night ride. How are we feeling? Can't miss anything yeah. here on night rides. Like, yeah, honestly, all good. this park's phenomenal. As you can see, it's kind of starting to wind down here. It's starting to sprinkle a little bit. Yeah, we're about to head out of the park now. Go get some food. Yes. Actually, we're gonna go check out some of the gift shops first. So you might see us purchasing something. Right. So uh, you know, stay tuned. But leave your comments below. Let us know what you love the most about this park. Tell us some of the secrets we missed. Tell us some of the things that we don't know, you know, necessarily about uh, tips and tricks at Kings Island. We love showing up and coming here. We love this park. Yeah. We think they do a fantastic job every time we're here. They do. Um, the ride ops are great. Super friendly here. Everything just seems to work how it used to at Cedar Point almost. Yep. Cedar Point used to feel like that, and they don't anymore. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, we'll be heading out. Hopefully we can find like maybe a beast hoodie or something. <laughs> we very much approve of the Halloween and candy corn Christmas trees. So we did decide to head out because it is starting to come down a little bit more. But for tomorrow, stay tuned because we have some interesting history on Kings Island. Some of the haunts, what goes on at the restaurant. We're going to talk to you about the parking lot and potentially the cemetery here. We're going to talk to you about a whole lot of things. So. Thanks for watching. Stay posted. We're going to be posting more videos over the weekend. Make sure you like, comment, and uh, subscribe if you guys like what you see. Thank you so much. Have a great night from us here at Kings Island.